guys, it's Meg and welcome back to Meg After Dark. Today we're doing part two for the Walking Dead Q&A. Um, if you haven't seen part one yet, it's only one video back, go watch it. Uh, we split this into two parts because there were quite a few questions and I didn't want the video to get too long, so let's get right back into it. Uh, the first question is from Silver Flame. When do you think All Out War will come? Do you think they will rush it or leave it for season eight? Oh, I think they're gonna rush it. Um, that being said, I don't, I, I think they could manage to stretch it out until season eight, but that's still rushing it. I mean, they've been rushing a lot of the storylines from the comics in in the television show already. And I like it because it's not super long and drawn out. I mean, y'all remember, y'all remember season two at the farm. Now, I love the farm, but we didn't need a whole season two at the farm, at Herschel's farm, okay? It was a long, long ass season. Um, so I think that, you know, they, they're definitely speeding a lot of things up. They could take a little longer without making it like the farm scenario, but it just seems like they're moving things so quickly. And I really, I really think, I don't think that they're gonna do it, oh, it's hard to say. I feel like our mid-season finale right now is gonna lead up to, I mean, we only have two episodes left and it's going to lead up to like deciding to fight back. Um, but I don't think that we are going to see the actual war or any part of it um, there. And, and the second half of season two, oh man, or season two, excuse me, the second half of season seven, I just can't see them I can see it all like leading up to the war, but I just can't see them trying to fit the entire all out war into into season, into the second half. I don't know, they'll probably rush it. I'm probably totally wrong. I would like to see them wait for the beginning of season eight. I will say that, but you know what? I'm probably totally wrong. I, I think that they're probably gonna, they'll probably rush it. I mean, I, I think we're gonna see some stuff. I do, there's a lot to All Out War though. So I, even if they do start it in the second half of season seven, I can't imagine that it will be resolved by season eight. I really can't, um, at least I hope not. Next question, Derek Knight, Q&A. What do you see going forward for Carol's story? My favorite character, ah, uh, my favorite character too. Um, what do I see going forward for her? Cool. I definitely think she's gonna develop a relationship um, with Ezekiel even though I know she doesn't want to I think that they're gonna develop this friendship and he's gonna kind of pull her in um, He has this positivity and he has this way about him that I think will draw Carol in even despite her trying to resist that um, I don't think we are going to see a lot of her to be honest. Uh, will she fight in the war? <sighs> Maybe yeah, I, I can't see her standing back and not but I don't know, Carol's kind of a wild card here, you know? I, I feel like she's kind of picking up a little bit of Michonne's storyline from the comics, but I don't know that she's gonna pick it up entirely because I just, I don't see that. Um, gosh, I wish I had a better guess for you. I just really don't. I feel like I need to see where, where she's going after she's been at the kingdom for a while to make a really good guess um, as to where her character where her character's future is. Uh, ooh, sorry, I couldn't answer that better. Next question is from Sarah Alisadi. Q&A, hey Meg, I just wanted to start off by saying you're an amazing person, <laughs> thank you, and I love your videos. Question is, what do you think about Carl and Enid? Ew, I don't like Carl and Enid. <laughs> I just started reading the comics, so I don't know if they become a couple or anything in the comics. I'm just going off the TV show. But yeah, what do you think? They, do you think they will become a couple and how do you feel about their characters? By the way, there is an uncensored version of The Walking Dead where Negan says the F word every two seconds. If you wanna check it out, here's a link. I have seen that. I actually, so I love Negan. Let me just start off on this Negan part. I love Negan in the comics and how he talks, but I get so much joy out of seeing uh, Negan in the television show not saying those words because he uses such colorful language um, and he figures out other like alternative ways to cuss um, without using the effort every two seconds and I love that in the show. I just, it adds so much more flavor and like excitement to kind of see what he's gonna say next. I love it. So I don't mind at all that he doesn't say a fuck in the show. Um, so to start off, what do you think of Carl and Enid? Obviously you posted this a week ago. We have since then, we've seen them become, you know, they've kissed at least. Uh, I, 
I like Enid. I hate Carl. I'm sorry. I just cannot. I try and like him so hard and I just don't. Um, I don't like him in the comics either. He's just not one of my favorites. Um, I, I, I definitely see them kind of, they're separated right now. So I don't think that they'll become a couple. I think they'll be interested in each other if they even see each other again for a while. I don't think they will. Um, I think they'll be interested, but I think Enid is kind of taking on a slight comic Sophia role. And um, I think that we will still see Lydia come in the comics at, at some point. So maybe there'll be kind of a little triangle there at some point. I don't know, I could care less, like not interested in it at all. Um, and Enid isn't even in the comics, just so you're aware of that. Um, she's not even in there, so there's no spoilers there. Uh, yeah, I don't care if they become a couple. I mean, if they want to do that, that's fine. That's not a big deal to me. I don't hate it. I just don't, <laughs> I just don't enjoy Carl. Uh, next question. This one is from Andrea Zahuranek. Uh, do you think Michonne has revealed to Rick that she had a child? We know Carl knows, but has Michonne or Carl told Rick? And if not, under what circumstances, circumstances would make her fess up? I think since Rick shared with her the paternity of Judith, she might feel like she can share Andre with him. I, you know, this is a really good question because you would think that she would want to reveal to Rick about Andre after Rick has revealed something so personal um, to him about Judith. It didn't fit in that conversation. So having her, you know, be like, oh yeah, well I lost my kid, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> doesn't really fit with the conversation they were having. Um, I, I, I don't know. It's funny because now I'm so used to seeing Michonne and Rick together, but they really haven't been together that long. So I don't think that she's revealed to him anything about Andre. Um, maybe down the road, but I think she's got that so locked up tight inside her that I just really don't think that she's going to share it anytime soon. I don't, unfortunately. I would like to see that though, but I just don't think. And I think if she does share it with him, I don't think we're going to see it. Um, next question, Kelly McDonaldson, Mc, <laughs> McDonaldson, Kelly McDonald Mason, uh, Q&A. I was rewatching the last few episodes, waiting for the new one on Sunday when I watched The Cell. This time, I noted a correlation between Dwight's situations and the lyrics to Crying, the song he played after he gave Daryl the photo of Glenn to break him. Did you or do you have any thoughts on the lyrics in association with his situation with Sherry. Oh, thank you for putting the lyrics there because I was like, I do not remember that part. Um, let's see. I could smile for a while, but I saw you last night. I think a lot of times, um, I, like I don't even have to read all of this. A lot of times any song that they play in The Walking Dead has some kind of correlation, whether funny or not, to what's going on in the episode. Um, the writers and whoever like figures out what songs go in <laughs> at just the right moments, they are just brilliant because I love I love all the songs that they play uh, for the show and it always um, fits really nicely with, with what's going on. And a lot of times um, there will be lyrics in the song that does pertain to to what's happening in the episode at that particular moment. Um, I feel like when Daryl was crying, when he broke down and was crying in his cell, and I think you said that this is the time when Dwight played the song. You also see Dwight on the outside of the cell and he kind of is listening to see what Daryl's gonna do. But I think probably in his head, he is kind of, I don't know how to explain it, but he, relates to Daryl a lot but at the same time he wants somebody to be as miserable as he is and that's why I mean he has to do these things to Daryl because he's required to by Negan but I think he does get a, a slight amount of joy out of it because it makes him feel better about himself that he's not the most miserable person in the room um and yeah I mean definitely these lyrics kind of probably match up to what he's feeling with Sherry thank you for writing that that was a good question and thank you for uh, sharing with me the lyrics because I could not remember the song. Next question is from Jarrett Nelson. What is your favorite episode in the TV series? Do you know how many episodes there have been? Fuck, I don't know what my favorite episode is. <sighs> favorite episode in the entire series. <sighs> okay, okay. 
I have many favorites. Um, probably the one that stands out the most, okay? And I'll explain why, because there have been some amazing episodes and I could not possibly pick one that like topped them all. But I will say that when I watched Herschel die, that was like the moment for me where I like realized how much this show meant to me and how like seriously I was affected by it. Um, because there have been better episodes than that. There has. Um, and there have been other deaths that affected me almost as much. But there was just something about that particular episode and like Rick's speech and the governor and then Herschel's like and then seeing how graphic it was that I had like, I felt like I had never really seen anything or felt any way like that before in watching any television show or any movie. Um, I've just never felt so like intensely and so devastated like about a, a, a TV show character. And I think that's why that episode is one of my favorites. And, and if, and really it's the only one I can pick right now because it stands out so much and you would have to give me a list of like every episode for me to pick one because I, being put on the spot right now, I just really can't think. And I know there's probably a better one that I enjoyed more, but this episode was what like really made me turn a corner in my obsession for The Walking Dead. Like I liked it up until then and I had been devastated by other deaths before, like Dale um, in the comics, but, or not in the comics, excuse me, in the show, but nothing had ever made me feel so intensely and like crazy about the show than that episode and that was like a turning point for me and I've said it a million times in videos but that was like the moment where I was all in where I was like whoa like this is this is the show like this is these are my people <laughs> you know like I'm all into the show 100% like no going back too far gone <laughs> you know what I mean um and that was really, that was the moment for me. And I think that episode is, is like my favorite because that's, it just stands out so strongly in my memory of why I love this show. So actually I would love to hear what your guys' favorite show is or favorite episode is uh, from The Walking Dead in any season uh, in the comments um, because I'm sure I'll be able to be like, oh yeah, I love that one too. Uh, let me know, okay? That's your guys' Q&A. What is your favorite episode in the entire TV series? Um, okay, the next question for, is from Karis40. Who is more likely to die this season out of Rosita, Tara, or Sasha? I don't think any of them is going to die this season. Um, but I know that so I, I feel like who will die first? Ros not Rosita, I'm um, Sasha. I, I really just feel like Sasha is going to... This is my number one prediction that Sasha will take Holly's death. I... I, I believe it. I feel it. I believe it. Um, <laughs> I, I really, I think so. Um, so I think if I had to, not, not that I want Sasha to die. Don't get me wrong. I love Sasha. But I think if I had to pick from the three of who I think is going to get it first, it's going to be Sasha um, or Tara. Rosita isn't going to go anywhere anytime soon. Uh, next question is from Epic Zombie Killer. You have a lot of questions. Uh, hey, Meg, I was wondering what if Rick buried some guns in Maggie's grave? Um, well, I already answered that. I don't think that Rick buried guns at all. I don't. He was, in that moment, he, even if he had buried guns, he would have given them all to Negan in that moment because he felt that that was the right thing to do. Uh, so no, if, if there are guns buried in there, Rick has no idea. Uh, next one is another one from Andrea uh, Zahranek. Do you think the survivors would ever become so desperate for food supplies to pay Negan that they might take a dip in the pond where the van that Jesus stole sank for supplies? Um, some of them are that are sealed might be salvageable on a personal note. Best of luck with your new job. Thank you um, for the luck. Uh, no, I don't think that they're going to go swim in the water. I think that it was deep enough for the van to sink. I don't think it would be reasonable for them to go down there and try and bust any of it out. I just don't think that's gonna happen. Um, okay, one more question. Ooh, yes. Ooh, I think I hit all the questions. Let's see. Ooh, I did all the questions and it's only been another 15 minutes. All right, guys, um, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this Q&A. If you wanna keep doing Q&As, make sure you leave more questions in the comments of this video or the last one. And I will see you guys next time. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I love you.